In this video series, I survived for a few days in the Amazon jungle with its indigenous habitants, a shaman and another member of the Yukuna tribe, who after being forced to join the Colombian army and live in the cities, decided to go back to their roots of life in the jungle. I ate like them, slept like them, and even studied a bit of their language. Join me as I learn about their culture, heritage, and traditions before they disappear. <laughs> yeah, he's just explaining that I'm not doing the tobacco because I gave up smoking 12 years ago. Yeah, well, I said 10. Yeah, 10, I heard, yeah. Tobacco, coke. Casi tiene ese mismo color, man. If you look at Casi mismo color, yeah. Mm -hmm. Similar, but one is a little bit darker. No se con, alguno se con. By mistake, hay mucha gente they, que think, se they think it's mambe. Ah, and sí. And they just put a full spoon in the mouth. Mm. You're yeah. saying it's lots of people okay. make that mistake, yeah. And it's, it's, it's okay because you can, you can mambear. We call mambear. When you put coca leaf in your mouth and you do this, we call mambear. Yeah. You can mambear with the rapé as well, but the effects is more different because the mambe doesn't cause you any dizziness you know make yeah. it doesn't make you feel drunk doesn't make you feel sick yeah. but rape if you put in your mouth yes this can make you feel drunk yeah. and this can make you puke you vomit mm -hmm. <laughs> right it's like a cleansing mm -hmm. urge <laughs> yeah. but by mistake if people do it that way yeah and we've seen that some cases no pregunta que significa mambiar and he said mambiar the action yeah reading mambe means to join together and share Right. Because this is the word given you to talk. And he said, Rape, this is the companion that will keep you concentrated and will focus on it. And uh, as I described earlier, both together makes like a bridge connection to be able to see the cosmovision, be able to understand a little bit of what they are telling us, describing us, and giving us an idea. How do they see the world? It's also to open your mind. Also to open your mind. Yeah. Because uh, there is no any writing on papers. Everything what they learn is in here. Right. And there is, they are they are very jealous on it to teach you and let you, giving you a chance to write down the things. Yeah. But in this time, you are here. You are with the recording. Yeah. And you're gonna be able to have this. So they, they're happy that que puedo grabar eso y que puedo compartir, reco compartir y recordar después. Claro, nosotros los indianos saludan con la mano. In the tradition, they don't give the greeting like uh, good morning with a hand, good afternoon, good evening, no. They give it by and letting you have some mambe yes, and some mambe. coca leaves and tobacco, yes, yeah. And, despidiendo su and also he said tomorrow when we leave this place, we're going to say goodbye with the same thing with some mambe and some rapé. He said, because when we get into this world, the spirit of the rapé and the mambe together is represented by our spirit, God. It is called by him the grandfather. Also, he's a grandfather, but beside him there is another top level. And he said, once we get into this group, into this uh, world, he said, we are protected spiritually. The spirit yeah. will protect, we got a protection. We're able to go out, whatever you see, bad or good, that's because the grandfather, the one on top, he's leading you, he's protecting you, he's giving you the warning. Yeah. Yeah, the warning, trying to make you to avoid the bad situations. The yeah. bad situations, so the bad things happen. Before they go out for um, any kind of activity they do, the mambe gives them like a the power, the strength. With this, they can they can be chewing mambe all day long. All day long. They are not gonna feel tired. Sometimes they hardly sleep. They tell stories until 2 a.m. Yes. And they wake up at 6 a.m. and go hunting or fishing mm -hmm. or whatever they need yes. to get through the day. Yeah. Yes. When we got here, it was another guy that showed. His name was, uh, yeah, Walter came and he was telling us that he went fishing and he was asking if you caught something. And he saw the fish and he said, I caught nothing. But yeah. why was that? Because he had no rapé, he had no mambe, but he does. 
Yeah. He does. And he was telling telling you that. If he catch nothing, his wife is going to die. Yeah. Hungry. Without any food. Yeah. You know? And this is the importance of uh, what they keep using this as traditional because the God is leading them. Yeah. All the steps they do. There are days, <clears throat> not uh, just because you are in the jungle, you're going to be able to find all kind of fruits. You're going to be able to harvest all kind of uh, production you plant. No. There is a uh, right season for fruits, right season for uh, planting, right season for hunting, right season for fishing. We have the rapper, we have the mamba, we have the candle lit. I suppose that we're about to hear some stories, yeah? Yes, but um, before we need to eat first. What's for dinner? Sopa. Carne de, de guara. And the, and Carne guara. de guara. The yeah. guara. The water yeah. meat. So this is the salt, yeah? Yeah, the salt. From earlier. Yes. Yeah, and that is going to put in the pot that we boil it with the, with the rest of the meat of the rodin, of the guara. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, the smoke is fucking coming in my eyes again. Okay. Well, it tastes more like the rodent than the salt, to be honest. Let's try more. Yeah, it doesn't taste too salty. It just tastes like... Um, like the rodent? Yeah, you want to try? Yeah. Right. <laughs> and the taste of that rodent is a taste that I'm not going to forget anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it has a little bit. Maybe yeah. not as we, we think, but this is what they call salty. Yeah. What, you want me to eat more? Well, he prepared for you. This is a typical dish. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll eat. Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. eat the whole plate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't worry. So we've got the soup that they've made here for me with the salt, the natural salt from the jungle, with the branches that we carried in the previous video and what the process that we just went through. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's go for it. We've got the guara inside, <laughs> the rodent that we caught the other day. Here's a nice chunk of meat. And it's too hot. Oh, okay. How was it? Mm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Ironically, it's missing some salt. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, it was a lot better when it was fried because it tasted a lot less like a rat or a rodent. But I'm obviously not going to tell them that. All right, so we've had dinner. And now we're getting ready to hear the stories. And of course, to get ready to hear the stories, we got to do some of this good stuff. <laughs> Ahuchuchu means thank you, grandfather. People here call the shaman a grandfather. The shaman is called the grandfather because one thing is the age and the other thing is the experience, what they have. And the other thing is because they are the person right away who can give you uh, guidance and help in all different matters, like for a Neutropical illness mm -hmm. or disease. The grandfather of the shaman is there to help. You. When I mean guidance, I'm talking about guidance spiritually. The shamans are said to have a strong connection with the spiritual world. Yeah. Yes. Yes. More cultures. Mm -hmm. Nelson Yukuna. Good evening. My name is Nelson Yukuna. Yo soy de la etnia Yukuna. I am from the etnia Yukuna as well. As indigenous people. We also have indigenous name. My name is Indian is Kewaike. That was his indigenous name. Kewaike. Because mm -hmm. when we are born, when they are born, the grandfather, the uncles, they just kind of make a, a sword, a sword, and a, they are just kind of protected. So whatever they do, like just drinking water, whatever they do. It cannot do any damage to them because they're already protected by the spirits of these people. His tribe. Mm -hmm. When a baby is born, the woman doesn't deliver the baby into the maloca. The delivering has to happen outside of the maloca in the jungle. The woman that is going to deliver the baby has to be outside of the maloca in the jungle at least five days before the delivering. And over there she's going to have all the assistance until she delivers the baby. 
Porque nosotros tenemos dentro de la maloca. Because in the malocas, they have a special tools that are sacred. In the maloca, sacred for them. They have lanzas, like arrows, jaws or jaguars, and uh, all kind of things. What is sacred for them? For this kind of reason, they don't allow to be a woman in pregnancy inside, especially if it's going to be close to the delivery time. They just die the baby whole for protection. Painted, yeah. Painted, yes, with mm. a leaf that they get a color on dark. Paint mm -hmm. all the body of the newborn baby. Mm -hmm. And the first meal what the newborn receive is camarón, shrimp, tucupi, and the jungle salt and uh, peppers. All this mixed together as a first meal for the newborn baby. Tucupi, what is tucupi? The soup of yuca. Right. While the grandfather is doing that, according to the characteristics what the grandfather sees, is going to be able to tell what kind of children the newborn baby is going to be. Mm -hmm. And then after that, the grandfather tells the mother of the newborn baby that what kind of thing she can be prohibited mm -hmm. because she can ruin or break the roll through for the child what is going to be given to him. For because he's drinking her milk, yeah? Yes. Yeah, drinking her milk. That's why she has to avoid some kind of food diet. Mm -hmm. And at the age of one or two, it's what they call the baptizement. And then is the time when the newborn baby, you know, at that age, can get the name, mm -hmm. the indigenous name. And then at the age of nine or ten, while the child is growing, depending on the Parents taught when they get into the celebration, he's going to be able to discern, understand, and learn what the parents are teaching. Right. And at that time, he said the children at 10 years old, he just start going by himself because he turned into a man. He is at the right time, right age, to be able to join the ceremony with the grandfather. And according to that, uh, the new person that is created is going to be able to see, take a career, he said, to develop the skills, maybe a cantor, like a singer, maybe a shaman, he said, or maybe a, a, a leader. And all of this process will take between 15 to 20 years. Can I ask what roles people can have besides singer or... Maloquero. Que es un maloquero. Mm -hmm. Maloquero, he said, is a person who lives into the maloca and he's the one with the experience to tell you about the secret and details, how to build and what does it mean. Every single timber. An engineer, basically. An engineering. Like. Yeah. But mm -hmm. into the indigenous top, he said, while you are learning, preparing yourself for this career, you have to be like uh, straight focusing on what you're doing. He says, Cero Mujer is like no contact with women. More and and he said, it's not like, uh, sex white no people, no. like white people in the university. You know, we just have like a very different life, you know. There is like intercourse and other kind of relationships. But he says for the indigenous is different. They don't do that. There is a title. And he said, just to be able to get those names, it's like a title. It's really hard and difficult. They suffer a lot. Mm -hmm. Very few people are the ones that are rich on that level. After he finished, or anyone who finished the education, the grandfather, also called El Maestro, is going to ask the, I would say, the graduated the student to make a party. He's talking about like the cantor. And then he's going to say, make a party and over that you're going to sing. And the grandfather is going to be looking at if he is singing correctly. And according to that, he's going to be able to tell if he's graduating correctly and he can get his diploma. He said for white people, uh, a person is called grandfather when your uh, son has children. Into this uh, culture, it doesn't matter like uh, if you're old or like if you have grand grandchildren. He said no. You can 
become into a grandfather at the age of 23, 24, just because you already graduated and you just pass all this mm -hmm. thought and wisdom and you learn and you just got a lot of respect for everything you're doing and you just see the life differently. Pareja, yeah. And after that, then they are ready to look for a mate to get married. If uh, this person graduated and uh, he got the grade of a chief, he is not going to be able just to find his mate like uh, any girl around, no. He has to look for his mate also on a person at his same level, you know, mm -hmm. his level. He said, if you are like on the level of cacique, a chief, when you have your, uh, your mate, your first child, what you are looking for has to be a man because that is going to be your replacement in the future. But if you have a girl, still you need to look for a man, a boy, who is going to represent and, for, and keep passing the blood. Si no sale varón, dice que entonces tienes que seguir buscando. If that is not the case, you just have to go to the grandfather to ask for the help, mm. to look for a conjuro, a sword, and that on that way, he's gonna be able to have a baby, but boy. All right, so it's 11 and 10 p.m. right now. We've been listening to his stories for about three and a half hours. Thanks for watching, and I love you.